Hey there, this is an update to my last video on peer block and how to uh, exploit the cross rim zone trick with peer block. And uh, this time I'll be covering how to uh, get the mysterious camel figurines from Uldum. Um, there are several requirements for this. You will definitely need a lot of noodle cards, and by a lot I mean a lot. For every farming round, you will need about 40 of them. So you should uh, most likely try to learn the recipe and stock up on materials if you're actually planning on getting this one. So um, another requirement is that you download NPC scan and NPC scan overlay because else you won't find these statues, I guarantee you that. So um, install these add-ons and then you will have to manually, most likely manually add the mysterious camel figurines to the add-on. You do that by going to the NPC scan menu. I don't think you can actually go there while the chat, but you can. Um, you will have to add the NPCs with the IDs number 50,409 and 50,410. Um, there are actually two different versions of the camel figurine, as you, as you most likely know. Um, there's the number 50,410 being a wrong, kind of a wrong uh, statue, which only gives you uh, 50 or 25 gold worth of an item. And then there's the other one, 50,409, which will teleport you to the place where you can kill Dormus. Um, yeah, I thoroughly explained how to set up peer block in my latest video, so I don't think I'll have to do that again. And if you actually need help configuring that, uh, watch my other video. It works just the same as it was with uh, the Timeless Proto Drake. You'll have to go to the zone and set it up just like you did with the Timeless Proto Drake. Um, yeah, and you will most likely, I advise you to complete the pre-quest, pre I'm sorry, pre-quest in Uldum um, from the uh, Watchies command board which will provide you with the according portal in Orgrimmar. After doing that you can start up farming. So now we're going. And as you can see Peer block still works just fine and the cross realm zone exploit is definitely not fixed at all. Uh, there are several tricks about farming the figurine. First you should see that there are kind of a lot of spawns, kind of a lot of possible spawns on the map and uh, you should make out a route for yourself. So um, basically you will have to set up a noodle card at each of the pink spots that I'm displaying on my map right now. And um, as I said, you should work out a road for yourself. I'm always going from here to the north, down to the south, from here to the west, here to the east again, to the north, and down to these ones, and then up here. It is very important that if you actually find a statue and it is not the right one that you can quit your search for the day or at least for 12 hours because um, there can only be one statue up at any given time. Um, yeah, basically the NPC scan overlay add-on on my minimap shows me where the exact spawn locations of the statues are. I set up my noodle card and as you can see just as in the storm peaks, all the mobs will appear. Um, if you should aggro mobs in this phase, you can uh, kill them with AOE spells, which will actually hit them, although you can't see the mobs. I can demonstrate you that one as soon as I get to an area where there are actually mobs. A good way to verify if there's uh, been someone else farming this zone lately is to uh, look for Armageddillo. It's the one, the red mob here. Um, if that mob is not up when you are uh, farming, 
it is kind of certain that uh, there you won't find any of these statues in the zone. So I'm actually wasting a card on that one right now. Let's set it up. And there's a mysterious camel figurine. I don't know where it is at that spawn location. They are quite hard to see and hard to locate, even if you know that they are there. Um, but you can verify if it is actually worth searching for them by looking into NPC scan. And this one tells me that it cached the ID number 50410, which means that this camera figurine is the worthless one. I can search it for demonstration purposes. According to the NPC scan marker, it should be around here. I don't really believe yet. There's a quite small. I can try to mouse over it, but well, possibly be in the water. Then I won't see it at all. should take a guess and say that it is close to the water. Oh, come on. Previously these statues were uh, really rare mobs, which they are not anymore. They cannot be targeted, so it is not possible to uh, target them and look onto the minimap where they are. So you'll have to really search them and there it is. Look how small it is. So when finding the correct statue and uh, getting to Domus place, um, you should just disable peer block and you can kill him just like uh, you would without the exploit. Interesting enough, um, after killing him you will keep the buff, I was told, and uh, flying to all the possible spawn points of Dormus, or all the possible places you can get teleported to, may result in there being other versions of Dormus, so you can sometimes uh, sell the mount and the title to other players when they are nearby, so you'll have to invite them get them to the place where you are, you are in another phase, but that doesn't matter. After you've killed him and looted the mount, you will be able to trade the mount to the other player, which is actually a really, really huge source of gold at the current time, being uh, that there, with cross realm zones enabled, people are not able to uh, farm the camera figurines at all, because Uldum will always be flooded with lobbies and it is just not possible to uh, really have a good shot at farming it. So with this exploit you are almost guaranteed to find it after some time. I have found 12 of the normal statues so far, just being a matter of time before I find the right one. So that's it, thanks for watching. Um, I actually forgot to mention one thing and that's a really important thing. If you find one of the camera figurines, you will have to uh, delete your World of Warcraft creature cache in the game folder. I provide you with the, uh, with the file path in the description. If you do not delete your creature cache, once you find one of the figurines, your NPC scan will not be able to uh, find one again. So each time you find one, make sure you delete the cache and then you can search again. Yeah, if you know any good uses for the exploit I have not come up with, maybe you can send me a message or maybe send me a comment. 
I might cover them in another tutorial video. There are several things I might uh, make videos on in the future. I know two, at least two other uses you have for this exploit, which are pretty good ones, I promise you that. Um, yeah, so good luck and until next time.